Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this lesson we're going to look at the cos graph. Now the cos graph is very similar to the sin graph as we will see just now. So let's start off by drawing ourselves a x and y axis. And now we're simply going to plot the different values. So let me first put all the degrees. There we go. So that's our x axis. Then your y axis you're simply just going to go up to 1 and then down to minus 1. Okay so let's get our calculators. So we're going to start off with 0 degrees, so we're going to type in cos of 0, and that gives us a value of 1. So we can go make a little dot at 0 degrees, we can make a little dot at 1. Next, we're going to try 90 degrees, so we're going to say cos of 90. So we can type in cos 90 like that, and we're going to get a value of 0. So now we can go at 90, the y value is 0. And then if you had to carry on, so you would type in cos 180, that'll give you negative 1. Cos 270 would give you 0, and then cos 360 would give you 1. If you wanted to go to the left hand side, then you would type in cos of minus 90. That looks like this on the calculator, by the way. So you literally type in cos of minus 90, and then close the bracket, and that will give you 0. And then you can type in cos of minus 180, and that's going to give us minus 1. Cos of 27, minus 270 is 0, and then cos of minus 360 is 1. You can then connect all the dots in a wavy type of shape. Okay, and it doesn't have to look perfect, guys. I mean, look over there. I completely missed that dot. But... This is the idea. So a cos graph looks very similar to a sin graph. I'm going to quickly put the sin graph that we had in our previous lesson. I'm going to draw that on top of this one. So it's something like that. Okay. So you can see that the sin graph and the cos graph are pretty much the same thing. They just start at different positions. I mean, imagine we took the green sin graph and we just dragged it backwards a little bit. So if we dragged it in that direction, well, guess what? It would be exactly on top of the cos graph. So they are the same kind of graph. They just start at a different place. Now, as with the previous video, we spoke about four main concepts, and those were domain, range, period, and amplitude. Oh, and by the way, just remember that it's the pink graph that is the cos graph, and this is a normal cos graph. We can add numbers in the front, and at the end, but that will come in later videos. So this is just a normal cos graph. The domain, well, that's the x values. And you just look at what they've given you. So they've drawn it from minus 360 up to 360. So you could say x is an element going from minus 360 up to positive 360 like that. The range is the y values. And we can see that the lowest y value is minus 1. And the highest value, y value is 1. So we can just say that y is an element going from minus 1 up to 1. The period, now that's just something you need to memorize. For a cos and a sin graph, that's going to be 360 degrees. Next year, in grade 11, that will change. But for this year, it just stays 360 degrees for a sin and a cos, then the amplitude is this over here. You need to find the resting position, which is like the middle position. And so for this cos graph, that's this line going right through the middle. Then you need to look at the distance to the highest point. Well, that's a distance of 1, because the green line is at a y value of 0, and then it goes up to a y value of 1. So the amplitude of this graph is just going to be 1.